Hi, ladies and gentlemen. The company has sent me another product, X-Rex, and no way they pay me to do this review. And I hope you enjoy this clock. There's a good, the bad, and the ugly about everything we own. I'm having a little difficulty trying to clear the countdown, and I don't know how to get to the count up. So please forgive me when I start to demonstrate and show you. Some things may be so simple, but complicated at times. On the box, you get three different colors, red, white, and blue. This is the red display. There is a film that you can peel off. You get a mounting uh, bracket, so you place it on the wall and take a measurement where you want your product. They don't give you the anchors or the screws that you have to supply yourself. Please do go over the instruction manual. This is not a rechargeable unit. It does require a power supply. So I'm gonna go plug this in and plug the unit in and place in the batteries. On the back of the unit, there is a kickstand. There is a door that you open up, you take the battery, and you correctly install it. They take two batteries. Now on the port, it's very difficult for you to see over here in the back, that's where you plug it in, and you drape the cable. There's no SD cards, there's no music playing on this, but of the alarm. There's your speaker, there's your keyholes, there's the manual control, there is the uh, auto, low, and high, and there is a sensor for your temperature, and a little uh, sensor over here, maybe for the remote control. So let me uh, show you what it, the remote control looks like. Very simple to use. Didn't know you get one? You sure do now. If I plug this in, the unit may chime, it may turn on, it may say English. So the unit's hooked up 12 o'clock Thursday, July 1st. In order to set it up, just hit the set button. Now if I point directly up, I want English. It will acknowledge. The infrared will bounce around. So let's hit the set. I set the time up, and I do apologize if I'm just scrolling through everything here. So we are in English, set 2022, not 2021, set, and it is March, and it is the 19th. And it is about 3.15. So I go up. 15.15. 15. We'll correct that in a second. And it's actually 3.16. And I can hold it down and you see it goes a little fast. And then I hit set. In order to correct the 15, just hit the 12.24 on the up. And over here you have temperature in Celsius. It'll come on every five seconds. Hit the down, 68 degrees in the house. Saturday, 319, 316 p.m. Listen to the audio of the unit. Now I lowered it down some. It has stopped charming in a few seconds. Let's dim the unit. I have to basically Keep hitting it down to the lowest, and let's raise it up and get it nice and bright. I do apologize for the camera. Let's show you the timer by hitting the enter button. Now, the timer, they say to hit the up and a down to reset, and that is my problem. Here's the timer, start and stop. Can I add minutes to the timer? Sure, it will count down by hitting this. And I can add minutes, three minutes, three seconds, hit enter. I do apologize when I hit the wrong one. It does remember what you have and hit this to count down. Now, in order to count up, all you have to do is just hit this. You don't hit the minutes and the seconds. Let's stop this by hitting the timer stop. And let's hit the up and down, see if we can clear. I cannot clear the unit. I'm pressing up and down. 
Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm not sure. Double click it. Hit three buttons. Do it during it. I'm not getting it to clear. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. And it said to exactly hit these two. So if I want to get back into the time, I just hit the center and there I am. In order to set up the alarm, you just hit the alarm and you have different alarms. I think I hit the up button. I could change the alarm sounds and down and I can't get that to change. Hit the uh, brightness or hit the audio. Or hit the enter. If I hit the set, it's not going to change it. So these are the things that I'm having a little difficulty on. I can shut it off. I really like the unit. It's very nice. It's very big. Great for a YouTube studio, for your room. Put it on a desk. Put it near your bed. But I don't think you want to be by a bed unless you can't see and for me, that'd be pretty good because I wear glasses and little micro numbers I can't see. So if you're interested in getting one, you know, check out the instructions, read on it, read about it. You can see the little difficulty I am having, but otherwise, it's a nice unit. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you very much, and thank you for your time.